The team was tasked with an annual dredging of a power plant in East Texas, so they set out early to go back to the plant ready to do some daily mud pumping. The trailer is set up and ready to go. All right, so here we have the intake structure for the power plant. Those are the two pumps and the traveling screens in front of it. Um, what we're doing is cleaning the basin below it where all the water comes from. It gets uh, collected with sediment, so we got to drop down in there with our pump. The crane's holding that right now, and we'll suck out all the sediments so that way when the plant sucks up water, it's not pulling in any sediment and blocking any of their screens or anything like that on the inside. So right now we'll head down below and take a look at everything down there. So here we are on the lower catwalk. So these are your pump pipes here. These are pump stems. They head down there where the intakes are. These are water transfer pumps as well. Those are the traveling screens there. So most of the time sediment builds up on the traveling screens all the way back to the pumps. We got the pump going down in the water there and we're cleaning everything from here all the way back to the back wall. Getting all the sediment out so the pumps don't suck those up anymore. All the way back to the third traveling screen down there. Right now he's got the jet pump going to fill up the polymer tote. It's a, a coagulant we add to the mud so that way it uh, settles in the boxes better. So instead of just having a bunch of stirred up sediment floating around in the boxes, it settles it down so it separates the water and the mud so nothing but clean water actually comes back to the lake itself. Uh, there's a little one right there. Oh yeah, we got some snake skins in here. This is just the electrical ladder for all the components down here. Or down here, you just got to be aware of all the spiders and a lot of black widows and snakes just like to live under here. Got a decent sized one right here. Find all sorts of stuff down here. Got some gloves? Yeah. Okay. They're almost ready up there? Yeah, I think we're going to bring that down. We'll put this on top of them. Okay. Eric Sanchez is a new diver to the team and with only 20 dives fresh from divers training, he is out with the team ready to pump some mud. The depth of the water is roughly 35 feet. The lake is low and calm. Yeah, so the traveling screens, um, so if anything builds up on them, they can rotate them around. So it keeps any debris that might build up on it, they can kind of kick it off or anything like that. But uh, if any too much sediment gets built up on it when they travel it up, and then they blow them off, it just kind of drops the sediment back down in front of it. So it can only do so much. It, it's mostly for algae buildup or any large debris to keep it away from the intake itself and getting inside. The pump needs extreme pressure to not only get to the surface, but to send it up to the dewatering boxes. Uh, so far, I think we've pulled about 40 to 50 cubic yards, roughly, and I think we'll probably end up with about 100 in total. Rough guesstimation. I'll copy, you got a copy? Roger, Roger, Roger. I'm about to head up here in a second. Okay. A comms check and air checks are being conducted. Lots of pre-dive systems checks are needed before the transition into the water is made. He'll be able to climb down the screen right here and find the tip where I left it yesterday. And um, the wall's traveling, like kind of in this fashion, it'll be sweeping the wall, pushing that way, uh, the sediment all the way to that end. I basically did that whole corner over there, came around this way, found the screen, worked this whole way, and then that's just how far I made it yesterday. Uh, well, that has to do with the kind of EPA regulation stuff. The roll-off boxes, so that way we can separate the material and the water out, so the water can return and the material doesn't return back to the lake, they can actually dump it in a safe spot over there so that way it doesn't recontaminate the lake or anything like that. Hang on for one minute, we're switching boxes. Okay. Switching boxes, hold on. Once a box is full of silt, the pump is shut off. The large hoses are connected and directed to fill up the next box. Once the switch is made, everyone is made aware that the massive pump will be cranking up once again. 
Sanchez must be on the ready. The mud level is supervised and the system is capable of pumping large amounts of not only mud but baseball sized debris. Time logs of procedures are noted as the day progresses. Uh, so far the rest of the day we're just going to finish having him clean everything inside the vault. Yesterday we got about half of it done so today we're just going to knock out as much as he can right now as we uh, top these boxes off and we'll drain them down and he's going to go in and finish up with a little last bit or check around to make sure everything inside there is clean. Once all the boxes are full, the diver can come up for a breather as the water is separated from the silt. How was it? It's good. It's good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, the water felt great. Um, pitch black like usual. So, so how's the temperature down there? Not too bad. Not too bad? Not all right, too bad. Yeah. Just like usual. Before moving to the next site, an inspection is required of the front of the intake to ensure that large debris, like logs or trees, are not obstructing the intake screens. As the screens are checked, it's time to pack up the gear and move on to the next site. The crane pulls out the priming pump and main suction. And the umbilical and hydraulic hoses are wrapped onto the trailer. Everything is strapped down and checked twice before moving out. Click subscribe to stay up to date with our projects and let us know what you want to see. American Underwater Services, aquatic engineering done right.